Hello! Welcome to the Tongue in the Trees channel. I'm Elizabeth Ashley, the secret healer. And YouTube's brought you here because I understand you're interested in knowing what is black pepper essential oil good for. So I'm guessing you have a new bottle and you're not quite sure what to do with it. Well, you've come to the right place. I am the co-creator of the Tongue in the Trees cards and author of 20 essential oil manuals and today we are going to look at just the physical properties of uh, black pepper essential oil. What do I mean by that? How it's going to affect our body. Now after off, if you bear with me till the end of the video, I will tell you how to access another video that goes much more deeply into understanding what is black pepper essential oil good for from um, an emotional, mental, spiritual perspective, but also how to blend it and most importantly, how to use it safely. So you might say, as we're going through now, I'm gonna look at my book. Okay, I think that's exactly what I need to use on uh, myself or I can think of somebody who could really use that, but I don't know how to use it. Then hop over to the next video after this. So we will be talking about how it is digestive. Very, very good oil for helping things digest. And that makes sense, doesn't it? We put black pepper on our food. It's a lovely warming oil. Um, energetically, it's beautiful. So if you've got somebody who has um, arthritis, rheumatism, and it's the cold that gets in it, I know. I use it in um, uh, an ointment that I make for my husband who has had a repair on his knee he used to be a very good rugby player and um, he did his cruciate lig ligament and he had to have an operation on his knee and he's got his bad good knee and his good bad knee <laughs> i'm never quite sure which one's which so i just go have the cream <laughs> but when he gets cold he knows about it it gets into the tissues and starts to aggravate the um the wound which has been healed for a long long time but the cold really sets it off so black pepper the warmth of it really helps to support the other oils that are for uh, tissue damage, that kind of thing. So beautiful. It's very, very good for muscular pain and fatigue. So um, if I ever have any athletes come to me who say, right, OK, I'm really training hard. Um, I want to be able to flush out the, toxic uh, the toxins in the uh, system and really get the muscle to recuperate quickly after I've finished training, then that recuperation, that muscle pain and the fatigue, that beautiful black pepper's fantastic for that. Um, now I've looked at my notes here and <laughs> the, um, the book is written so that I can scrawl notes in it. Everybody goes, it's got very big spacing. It's because I don't remember things. I have to write in them all the time. And I've noticed here that it's very good for the spleen. And actually my work this afternoon was to look for oils that could help the spleen. <laughs> so I've done my work, guys. <laughs> this is useful. It's a very useful book. So if somebody has anemia, then you can use black pepper to, to push the, um, the action of the spleen to help it to generate more red bl blood cells. And we get this beautiful um, support for people who have anemia. Lovely. And uh, it stimulates the, the kidneys. Now, that's not really an action that I would use it for very often, but it does do it. So if somebody, um, sometimes when you get to about 40, I don't know if you have it in the States here, we have like a, a special MOT where you have to go, your old people's MOT, and they say, okay, this is all working properly, you've got diabetes and all of that really beautiful jazz. The amount of people I find, they check the, the kidney function and they say, oh, your kidneys are not working as well as they could be. Um, then black pepper seems to just put it right. It just goes, oh, 
we'll just tweak that a little bit and get that action going again i wouldn't say it's an oil for kidney failure that's not what i would use it for but just just that oh you know a bit of extra pizzazz that you know you need so if some you know if you've got a, a kidney infection or you think oh actually you know what it's hurting me to wee a bit then the kidney support is fantastic from um black pepper it's subtle it's quick but uh, yeah fantastic so we'll look at how why that might work in the next video um and some ways that we can use it um and what i should have said when we were talking about the um digestive one of the reasons why it is so good as a digestive is it's antispasmodic to the gut so if you cramping you know tummy tummy cramps energetically it's not really an oil for children but if you have like an adult who gets colic or you're like oh i just can't it's just you know that griping black pepper's lovely so i'm talking about this next video we are because i want to keep it short and sweet here you ask me what it's good for i'm answering what i can't go into detail on a short video like that is how to use it and hmm I meant to bring in um, like a medicine um, thing. You know when you, you open drugs from the doctor and you open it out and it's a long thing that goes, or oh, these are all the side effects and you just don't use it if you're taking this medicine and it's terrifying. There's a general consensus on the internet that you don't get that on with uh, essential oils. And while it's true that essential oils don't have side effects, they do have many main effects. And so it's beautiful to have like this. This is a tongue in the trees cards, actually. These are some cards that my uh, co-creator, Gergle Halodi, and I have created. I am not responsible for the artwork. What I did was write some um, poems that go with it that talk to you as if the plant's talking to you. Um, so orientation, now that is a lovely action of um, black pepper. It makes you, you know, when you kind of go, I just don't know which way to turn. I just don't know what to do next. Then we'll look at how more deeply at that in the um, the next video and, and how you can tap into that um, we're going to look at the emotional how we can use it for uh, emotional support um, how black pepper is very good for mental support you know mental health is very overlooked use of um, essential oils this is proper aromatherapy using the inhalation of just the, the aromas and kind of almost being like a bee or an insect of reading that and and hearing what the plant's saying and tapping into that and it's the very best way to use essential oils but also we're going to look at safety we're going to look at are there any uh, situations that you shouldn't use it for drugs um for is it uh, okay with children is it okay with uh, cats and dogs everybody seems to want to know if it, how whether you can use a particular oil with uh, cats and dogs. So I've had to do all that work and look all that up for you. So we'll cover that. But we'll also look at blending. So it's, um, you know, if you get the black pepper out in your cupboard and you, what on earth does that go with? So we're going to look at that. And uh, my my co-creator, Gergle Halodi, that's what he's really good at. So I kind of just filled in all the physical stuff, the emotional, <laughs> mental, and I just went Gergle to that. <laughs> because that's what he teaches in Hungary and we're going to give you that for free now um how you access that is just to click the link it's at the top of the description below click that the video is completely free it's much longer much more detailed and we'll go more in depth in the safety the emotional the physical um and if you are um somebody who sells doTERRA black pepper essential oil or young living uh, 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 black pepper essential oil we're just going to talk about how you can sell it more effectively how you can uh, communicate that to your different um, customers and um, yeah, just how to use it better so now I have a, a rule that you always go to the person who knows most about something to get advice and uh, as you can see 30 years um professional experience in aromatherapy i wouldn't say i'm the person who knows the most but i'm close up there <laughs> without being arrogant 
but YouTube is a bewilderment to me so in terms of getting you to subscribe and like and share and uh, get notifications I'm going to pass you to somebody who knows a lot more about YouTube and that's a 10 year old sir called Dexter so I'm going to pass you to Dexter he will tell you how to subscribe in the meantime click the link come and see me on this so video. I'm going to teach you how to um like comment subscribe I and hit the notification bell so you get your phone and turn it this way up and then there's a little red subscribe button turn it gray by clicking it and then there's a little bell click that and press all at the bottom of your phone or tablet or computer it will say you will receive all notifications and then there's a little hand with a thumbs up click that it'll turn it blue and it says added to your like the videos and there will be comments and if you want to you can send a comment or and say like hi to mum and gag like and then the link to the next video will be in the description below underneath the video so bye Thank you.